They are laughing when we say eat water. So in Bengali they always say eat water. So in my house they said if you give if you give water to someone you have to give some 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 batasa some sweet or something. In this day Bengali culture you have to give some water to someone to drink and also some food. That's why in Bengali we say. We say eat water, and they laugh at the Bengalis when we say eat water, not drink water. But actually, this is Bengali culture. Here, they just give water, with water, nothing else to eat. But in Bengal, they always give with food. That's why we say eat water in Bengal. Don't forget the name of this place is Ramagad. Ramagad. So, Baladev Prabhu, the older brother of Krishna, he came here and he performed so many pastimes. Especially here also, Baladev Prabhu, he performed the Ras Lila with the Gopis. So, this place is called Ramagad. Also, you have heard Krishna stayed, stayed 10 months and eight, 10 years and 8 months in Vrindavan. After this, until this time, he performed so many pastimes in Vrindavan. Ten years, eight months. Sakyavat, Sanya, Madhurya, Rasalila, everything he did. After that, Krishna, he went to Mathura, killed Kamsa. And after killing Kamsa, he uh, also delivered Devaki Vasudev from the jail. And then the father of Kamsa also over the same. He put him in the throne like, as a king. Krishna was not the king of Mathura. He gave the kingdom to Ugrasen. Then Devaki and Vasudev they made the sacred thread ceremony of Krishna Balaram and then sent him to Ujjain. There, for 64 days, they were in the ashram of Sandipani Muni. And they studied so much there with Sandipani Muni. After that, Krishna, he was in Mathura, but always thinking about the Brajavasis, crying, crying, day and night. Why? Because you cannot forget the love of the, the love, the real love, the love of those who love you, really. So Krishna was crying because of the love of the Vajavasis. One day, Uddhava came in the room of Krishna. Krishna held the hand of Uddhava and told, he said, hey, Uddhav, go to Braj, my dear, beloved, especially my friends, my parents, they are crying so much in separation from me, especially my dear Gopis, Radha, Lalita, Vishak, etc., they are crying. Please go and send my message to them. So that's why Krishna sent Uddhava to Braj. So it's like sending his news or a message. So for three months, Uddhava stayed. Rupa Goswami said three months, Uddhava stayed in Braj. Other commentaries explain that Uddhava actually stayed ten months in Vrindavan. For ten months, he stayed in Braj. So the Vrajavasis, every day they're feeling separation. And then Uddhav was able to see that, how the Vrajavasis, they have so much love for Krishna. And how they are crying and suffering in separation of Krishna. Uddhav saw all this, how, Vatsa, how Nanda Maharaj was completely absorbed in Vatsala Prem. Especially, he saw also how Shumatiratka and the gopis, they, had, they have this love for Krishna. He saw, Shukadeva Goswami described this in the Shumat Bhagavatam, in the 10th canto, chapter 47. 47, 47, is the Brahmarigit. 
This love they have, wow, so much love. Even the wedded wives of Krishna, Rukmini, etc., they don't have this love for him. But see, the love they have for Krishna and the Gopis, how much love they have. Shastra explains the love. Actually, in the meeting moment, you cannot measure the love. You cannot measure the love in time of meeting. How to measure the love? How? When? When both lover and beloved, they are separated. Then you can measure the love. So when lover and beloved, they are meeting, you cannot actually you cannot measure the love. How to measure the love? When the lover and beloved, they are separated far from each other. So Uddhava thought, how deep is this love of the Vajabhasis? Rupa Goswami told, Without separation, the sweetness of the meeting will not manifest. So Vipralamba Bhava Virana separation is increasing the love and the happiness in the meeting. Just like you, the more you put one cloth, a cloth, when you put in a dying, you know, to die, you know, if you want to make it a saffron color uh, cloth, you dye the cloth. The more you put the cloth inside the dye, again and again, if you put this cloth in the dye, dye water, let's say like this, the more the cloth will be a strong color. And the same way, the separation will what? nourish the meeting. So Uddhava, after that also Uddhava did so many prayers to the Braja Gopis, so many prayers. Many prayers. So the six verses, he preached the glories of the Gopis in this world. And if I get one dust, he was eager to get one dust from the feet of the Gopis. Whatever thought, Krishna left even these great devotees, Gopis, who have left everything for the service of Krishna. If Krishna even left them behind, what, what about me? Imagine me, you know. He, they say, or in English maybe say, I'm no big deal. Uh, so what about me? Imagine? It's like, you know, like the moly, this uh, white, like a carrot. What is it in English? Vegetable. Right? Radish, radish. Like the radish. And anyway, some Hindi expression. Never mind. So he said, um, okay, so what about me? Imagine I'm nothing compared to the gopis. So better. That's why Uddhava decided to go back to Matra. Matra now is being, is being kept by Krishna. So Uddhava came back to Matra. Bhagavatam describes in details all this, like how Uddhava came back and met Krishna. Because Uddhava was thinking Matara because of many duties. Like, then the two wives of Kamsa, Ostia and Prapta, they were the daughters of Jarasandha. So they came to Jarasandha and they told many like crazy things, like very not true, like false things. Then Jarasandha became very angry and 17 times he attacked Matara Puri. Then Krishna Bharam, very quickly they were able to destroy all the armies of Jarasandha, finish them all, kill them all. So that in the 18th time, when Jarasandha attacked Mataraporti, then Krishna brought all the Mataravasis and the, in a gigantic palace in the middle of the sea, Dharaka. And then Krishna, <coughs> sorry, he also married his 16,108 queens there. 
Krishna was staying in Radhika, but Krishna day and night, he was remembering the gopis and crying so much. But who would understand him there? To whom would tell what is in his heart? If somebody can understand, then you can tell something. But if the person will not understand, then how to explain? So in Hindi they say, it's just like if you play the flute in front of the buffalo, the buffalo will continue just chewing the grass. So if you play the flute in front of the buffalo, the buffalo will not uh, appreciate the beautiful sound of the flute. He will just like hum, 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 chewing the grass. In the same way, Krishna went to Mathura Dwaraka, but to whom he could tell his heart? The Prem of the Virja Gopis. Who would listen to that? Who would understand? So, Krishna, day and night, he was crying and crying. Then, Bandha Prabhu saw. Okay, what to do? How to send Krishna to Braj? Then, Baladeva told. Sorry, Baladeva told. Krishna, go to Braj, Krishna. Rajabhas is there crying for you. Go, go. Krishna said, okay, tomorrow go, tomorrow go, and go, and go, and go. But then Krishna never and went. And Baladeva told, the Uddhava, go again. Uddhava said, I've been there. I know that I'll never be able to pacify the Gopi's love. I cannot pacify them. I cannot pacify them. I cannot. I cannot. Just like if there is a big fire, the fire, and if you put just a little bit of water in the fire, the fire is, um, flames will increase more and more. Like if it's a small fire, water can push the fire. But if it's a gigantic fire, small drops will only make the flames go, grow more. So only if the cloud of Krishna would rain over the separation of the Vrajavasis fire, only this would pacify their separation, nothing else. So again and again, they were saying, insisting, Krishna, go, go, go. Krishna told, okay, tomorrow I'll go, tomorrow I'll go, but he'll never go. He's never go. Then Baladeva said, said, okay, I will go. Then Baladeva came here to Braja. He came here. He stayed for two months. Shasta explains in the Shrimad Bhagavatam, in the 10th canto, it's described. I think in the chapter 65, so chapter 65 of 10th canto, is describing how Baladeva came here and performed the Rasa here. It was the Madhumasa. Madhumasa are two months of the year. It's the month of Chaitra and Vaishak. Chaitra and Vaishak. I think maybe March, April, June, uh, English language, I'm not sure. So, seeing Baladeva Prabhu, the Gopis felt even more separation, flames of the separation more. But then Baladeva pacified them, and then they performed the Ras Lila. So rasa means rasa is nothing, nothing, no, nothing bad or inferior. No, people don't know the meaning of rasa. What is rasa? Rasa is not sexual things, although people think that. Just explains, rasa is not something low or sexual. Rasa is something so pure, spotless, divine personification of the love, divine prem. So they're embracing, and kissing, dancing, and singing. This is in rasa, yes. Rasa is not something low. No, no, no. People don't understand what is rasa, so they hear the name of rasa and then they like uh, make an ugly face, like, oh, what is this? Krishna did rasa leela. And people like abuse Krishna or abusive words. What the Vaishnava say? Shastra explains. Rasa is a complete pure, spotless thing. The topmost modes of Prem is manifesting Rasa. Lila. Sneha Mar Pranaya Raga Maraga Bhav Mahabhav Rura Dirura Moha Madanakya Mahabhav. Many, many manifestations and expressions of Mahabhav there. And Gopis are manifesting this in the Rasa. Baladev Prabhu came here and did the Rasa. Lila. And he danced with all the gopis and gave happiness to them. So we were hearing that when Badev was doing the rasa, 
the gopis were thirsty gopis told we are thirsty please bring out water for us give us water to drink then Maladeva like Jamuna was flying nearby and he told Jamuna come come here and fulfill the thirst like, uh, quench the thirst of the gopis but Jamuna didn't uh, give attention to him continue the flowing kal 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 Continue. And Baladeva, he has he, in his hand what? The plow. 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 Just like to plow the fields. So after 40 years not going to Bengal, I saw that they were using the tractor instead of plowing the fields with the hands. Ah, no, I, not, I, not, I don't plow the field anymore. So I didn't see any more plows in Bengal. Sometimes, sometimes, one or two times, I found still some plows. Now, like this in tractor. Anyway, so Baladeva has the plow in his hands. So Baladeva he drags Jamuna until here. That's why this date is called Kencha Baladeva. Kencha means like he dragged or uh, pulled. Baladeva to here. So, so you can see Jamuna she's going in that direction generally, normally then suddenly like Jamuna she, you know, many in Braj, there are many villages that actually have the name given by the great grandson of Krishna Vajranab. He names these villages just in my of this past So Ujjang Gaon. Ujjang means like opposite. Like the Vraja prayer has an opposite direction. It's just like the Jamun is going one way, then suddenly like change direction completely, then again continue. Because Baladeva pulled, uh, dragged her into him. The total sedent is that Baladeva was doing the Rasa Lila. Okay, with the only Krishna performs Rasa Lila, Baladeva no, right? We generally hear some antagonistic parts about the Sampradayas, they say. No, Baladeva did the Rasa Lila. Only Krishna can do the Rasa Lila. This is famous. But actually there is no difference between Baladeva and Krishna. That's it. No difference. Only a uh, matter of color difference. Krishna is Krishna Varna, this blackish complexion, and Baladeva is white. You saw here Baladeva. What is his color inside the deity here? His gold Varna, means his white. Yeah, the other day we went in Madhuvan. We saw the deity of Baladeva in the blackish color. But here is Baladeva is Gora, he's white. Generally, yes, of course, he's white. But sometimes, sometimes he becomes black just because he's so much absorbed thinking about Krishna. But generally, he's white. So, Baladeva is Bhagavad Tantra. Baladeva, there is no different from Krishna. So, in this way, Baladeva, he is Bhagavad Tantra. And he performed the Rasa Lila. So Baladev is the is I don't know I forgot name in Bengali. He is the he is the older brother of husband. It means like Krishna and Radha or Gopis being like, like husband wife. Just to understand, he is the older brother. So the older brother is called Dada. <laughs> so everybody is uh, watching so much TV, uh, Western country, they are calling Western country. They are even calling their husband by the name nowadays in Bengal. Something which is not in the Vedic culture. <laughs> you got the joke? <laughs> this, this Bengal is very, very shy to uh, if elder brother uh, meet with the uh, younger sister's wife, they will be very shy and they will not speak in their name, even cannot directly call it. So this is the uh, one Bengal is so slow. <laughs> so the Baladev is the older brother, right? So, how can the gopis dance with the older brother? Because Jana has so much respect with the older brother. Like, but actually, Jana has some respect. All these conceptions are in this material world, Swarga Loka. Oh, Ma Marta Loka, this world. Even in Swarga Loka, these rules are not there. 
Arjuna said, Oh, Urvasi. She's like my mother. She's in my dynasty. Arjuna was thinking. I was thinking about this. I didn't was, I was not looking at you with the desire to enjoy. I was looking at you like a mother. Like a mother. That's why I was looking at you when you were dancing. She said, No, no. Urvasi told. No, but in Swarga, there's no mother, father. That's conceptual. All of us here, we can enjoy each other. No problem. There's no way. But Arjuna said, no, 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 I'll never enjoy with you, meet you, no. Then Urvasi cursed Arjuna, you should become Eunuku. Eunuk, 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 Eunuk. But she told this curse for all life, but then he, anyway, later she decreased the curse for only one year. That's why Arjuna became Brihanala for one year and he was in the king, kingdom of Virat and Arjuna was like a, like a, I'm saying, not masculine that time. So this conception about Mas uh, pa Papa Sifo Tips and Pious Deeds uh, is not in Swarga Loka, only in this material world. So if not even in Swarga this conception is there, what to speak of Vaikuntha or even higher than Vaikuntha Goloka Vrindavan? There is not this conception. So Jiva Goswami is giving this example. example. It's not possible. Yeah. But if you say, no, no, but Raja and Raja love also, the love of Raja also follows rules. So how the gopis of Krishna would embrace and kiss Baladeva with like the older brother? Then if you say like this, then Jiva Goswami, he says what? Okay. Baladeva had some gopis on his own. He had some gopis on his own. And Krishna had other gopis. So when Baladeva danced with the gopis, he danced with his own gopis. And at that time, the gopis of Krishna, they were invited also, and they were just also joining the, the party, happy, but not with him dancing, etc. So he did not embrace and kiss the gopis of Krishna. In this way, Jiva Goswami, he finished all cleared all the doubts. So this is a place very beautiful and clear. You have seen. So another Siddhanta. Explain the Siddhanta. Now please sit in line and there will be Prashadam. One more Siddhanta. Who is Jamuna? Jamuna is Patarani. She is Vishakha Devi. She is one of the eight Sakis. So after Lalita, Vishakha is there. Very prominent. She is very dear to Krishna. So when Baladeva, how he would drag Vishakha Jamuna? A Siddhanta Jiva Goswami also explains. There are three rivers in Jamuna. Like three Swarupas. Vishakha Jamuna, second. And Kalindi, and third. Sarit, the wife of the ocean. Shasta explains. So when Baladeva he dragged Jamuna and brought her here, which Jamuna he brought? This wife of the ocean. That's the one he brought. So this is the Siddhanta even here. Shasta explains. This place is very beautiful. Internally came here. Chitana Mahaprabhu also 
even our Bhaktivinoda Thakur also came here. All the Guru Burgas, all the came here. Prabhupada came here, so Bhakti Pragyana Kishwa Goswami Maharaj came here. We came here, Krishna Gurudev, Swamaran Goswami Maharaj, Srivaka Maharaj, Savana Goswami Maharaj also came here. Shatirta Goswami Maharaj came here and spoke this Harikata. Tirta Maharaj speaking this Harikata, he would cry, cry and so much cry, speaking Harikata here. Thinking about the Rasa Lila absorbed of the Vraja Gopi, so Tirta Maharaj used to cry here. Mancha Kaupa.